follow me on Instagram, YouTube, and Spotify at 7 Figure Sis, or visit my website at sevenfigurestreams.com. Today I'm showing you how to create, customize, and embed a Calendly calendar and a Google form to your Canva website absolutely free. Let's start with a booking calendar. Creating a Calendly booking site is pretty simple, so I didn't go through all the steps here, but if you want me to create a tutorial on that, I can. Just leave me a comment below. Once you create your booking site on Calendly, you're going to copy the URL that you would normally have your customer click to book with you. Once you do that, we're going to jump right back over to Canva, click the magic button, and type embed. In this little search bar, you want to paste your booking site URL and click enter. Now I'm just adjusting the placement and size of my calendar here and you can do this to your liking once your calendar is embedded. But to also give this a cleaner feel, I'm going to match the background of this page to the background of my calendar. That looks good. Now, if you double click into the calendar, you can test out the functionality. Just note any adjustments that you need to make to the calendar itself will need to be made in Calendly. I'm also not a huge fan of seeing the scroll here. So I'm going to simply cover them with shapes that match the background and then group everything together. The reason I want to group things together is so that if I choose to optimize my site for mobile, things won't be jumbled around and these blocks won't just be kind of floating out there. This isn't something you have to do. This isn't a must. This is just something that bothered me, uh, but it does clean up the look of the calendar a lot and it hides the Calendly branding so that your site feels like it's just yours, that it's high end, it looks professional and um, just very clean so not a lot going on here now let's create a booking form using google forms for your canva website if you like this canva website template you can find it on my website at sevenfigurestreams.com now to embed a google form into your canva website we're going to do essentially the same thing we did for the calendar except i'm going to go through the steps of how to create a simple google form for your Canva website. Head over to your Google Drive and create a new Google form. Here I'm just going to type in some filler information, but you want to name your form. Think about the information that you want to gather or collect from your audience, and you're going to put those questions here. So for this form, we're going to ask for some pretty basic information that you find on pretty much every form that you might fill out on a website. We're going to have full name, email address, and we're going to make these fields required because we want to have this information. Next, I'm going to add another field that says choose your course. Say you're selling a course. In this case, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to type in the names of our course or courses that are available. And since we're adding course information, I'm just going to put um, the date and the time of these make believe courses here so that it's super simple when someone's filling out a form that they know which course they're filling out for what day and for what time. And instead of multiple choice, we're going to make this a drop down. We're going to click send so that we can grab the link to embed in our Canva website. You can shorten it if you want to. You don't have to copy it and jump back over to Canva where we're going to click the magic button, type embed and paste the URL. Hit enter. Well, once you've embedded the form, you can place it and size it however you desire. I'm going to just adjust the page here a little bit. And there are a couple things that I'm not super crazy about the form once it comes over. 
and that is the bottom of the form and I'm not crazy about the top of the form either I don't like the header I want the header to match my website so I'm gonna take a couple of shapes and do the same thing that I did with the calendar cover them and I'm gonna make them the same color as the background because I like the contrast between the white form and the background and then I'm going to group everything together the only other thing I'm going to do is push the grouped elements to the back so that it shows my header and it doesn't have such a huge gap between the form and my header. I'm going to preview the site so that you can see exactly how the form is going to look to your client. So as you see here, they'll be able to fill out their full name, their email address and whatever questions that you have placed on the form directly in your Canva website. I don't know about you, but for Canva websites, I think this is an absolute game changer. Let me know in the comments if you're going to embed a booking calendar or booking form in your Canva website and tell me how it goes. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and smash that notification bell to stay connected with 7 Figure Sis. Follow me on Instagram, YouTube, and Spotify at 7FigureSys or visit my website at 7figurestreams.com.